you can see I'm touching it and it doesn't hurt. I mean, if you put your finger on the wrong part of a metal grater, you're going to cut it. But now this is safe, it's easy to use, and it's a smart design. This liquor store is also a sake brewery, so it offers customers tastings of its sake that make great gifts for people back home. This is a good inn if you want a taste of daily life in Japan. Oh, this is yeah. great! Nice. Yeah, Japanese style room. Yeah, this is perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The inn, built 100 years ago, boasts authentic Japanese-style rooms for visitors to experience the real Japan. The owner comes from a line of samurai lords, so he shows Chris his heirlooms. Uh, this is 400 years ago, samurai. 400 years ago? Yes, yes. yes. Wow! Would you try? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> okay. Oh. Wow, this is surprisingly heavy. Yeah. I have no idea how samurais wore this for <laughs> days at a time. The area also has much to offer at night. In this town, by day, it looks like this traditional Japanese town, but by night, it gets a little funky. And I have heard that there's a bar in this area that a lot of foreigners tend to hang out at, and I'm kind of on the hunt for that right now. This has got to be the spot. Jet Lag Club. Let's see what's happening. Wait, what do you do? Uh, pilot. I'm also a pilot. What do you do? Yeah, we work for the same company. Many of the clientele are airline staff. With Narita Airport so close, crews staying overnight often come to unwind. Vincent, the owner, was once a chief purser. He shows his playful side in the bar's decor. He's also added a touch of humor by classifying the alcohol according to class. Narita, there is full of very nice restaurants. Another very popular place is Teco Teco. It's a Brazilian Teco -teco. restaurant. The French restaurant, Bistro Diné. French it's restaurant. It's well, they really have everything around here, don't they? It's, uh, it's yeah. quite international. I mean, like Absolutely. by day, I really thought this was like it's a straight up traditional Japanese yeah. town, but yeah, yeah I think I, I would say like Narita is uh, is invaded by foreigners every every day, <laughs> but it's a nice invasion. Yeah, it's a good mix. It's a it's a perfect mix. I find it's mm. a perfect mix. Yeah. Wow, so much to do in Narita. That is very very cool. Uh, I didn't know I. I've never been there at night. Mm -hmm. um, the night spots look really, really interesting. Right. And it's, it's got a wide variety of things to do. Yeah, it seems like it. But I heard that you're, you know Narita very well. Well, very well in the sense of I, I go to the, the temple. Uh -huh. Right. So, Shinshoji. Yeah. And um, we, we kind of frequent there quite a bit. So, we've been, we've been there on, on many, many occasions and, okay. and some uh, fire ceremonies as well. Mm. Um, Fudo Myo Osama, the, mm -hmm. uh, the deity of this particular. Uh, temple is kind of uh, is represented by fire okay. as well so he's got a, a big fire thing going on yeah. and a lot of the stuff that gets thrown in there is purified and then sent up to heaven and so on and so forth right. so shall we check out where Chris goes next well, let's check it out good morning 8 a.m. we are here at Narita's fish market now I'm sure when you think of fish markets in Japan Skiji comes to mind but Narita fish market Looks pretty good, right? Let's check it out. Despite being a popular destination for Japanese, relatively few foreign tourists know about these markets, located two train stops from Narita Airport. There are many eager shoppers early in the morning looking for bargains. There is so much that you wouldn't find in an ordinary Japanese supermarket. There's like a crazy amount of people waiting in line for something. Let's find out what's happening. This event in which they cut up a whole tuna is held on the fourth Saturday of every month. 
So it's taking a team of about, I would say, six men, and it looks like they're using uh, maybe five or six different knives to cut down that giant tuna into edible pieces. And they're, they're sectioning it off into the different types of meat and the different parts that you'd want to buy, like uh, the head, the fins, the tail. It takes just 15 minutes for the staff to divide up the 80 kilogram tuna. <笑>何個買いましたか。ユーツ買いました。ユーツですか。すごいですね。ちなみにこれはいくらですか。これはあの、大トロが2つ1500円。1500円。結構いい値段ですね。やっぱり新鮮。うん、確かにね。これ一番
that's one wall. And, oh yeah, did you feel that? That's the other wall. And if I put the selfie stick right here, all right, look, I'll be honest, there's not enough room to have a home party, but there's definitely enough room to uh, comfortably sleep by yourself. I actually had a pretty relaxing time hanging out at Narita Airport. And on top of that, you really get a sense for Japanese hospitality. So if you've got some time before a flight or if you got some time after a flight and want a little bit of relaxation before you head on to Tokyo, definitely worth checking out. See you later. I highly recommend you make a detour to Narita when you arrive in Japan. Even if you only you know, have a few hours and you're in transit, mm -hmm. it's definitely a good place to go and check out, even if you have a few hours and you can go and stretch your legs a bit. Mm -hmm. And there are actually some other spots near the airport, so let us introduce a few of them to you. Yes. Wow. This is cool. nice. So this is Sakura no Yama Park. That is correct. And this is right near the airport runway, so you can lie down and watch the planes take off and land. Exactly. So I've actually visited Sakura no Yama Park. Mm -hmm. it's How was it? It's very cool. Mm -hmm. It was very, very close to the runway. It's, uh, it's overwhelming because you're so close it's, it's probably as physically close as you can get to a runway without getting into trouble. <laughs> and you can see the airplanes taking off and landing, especially the landing. You can, you can feel the, the, the power of the airplanes. Wow. And it's really, really uh, breathtaking. The Museum of Aeronautical Sciences is about 15 minutes by bus or taxi. A great place to take the kids. There we go. Look at that. What's that is this? an engine. Oh, this is, is inside airplane. of a plane? Yep. Uh, it, it's actually the, the engine of an airplane. You get to see what it looks like. Oh, on wow. The inside. Yeah. Okay. And of course, you've got some cafes mm. and restaurants that you can sit down and watch the airplanes taking off. And, oh, I, and I see. The runway is right there. Exactly. Uh, okay. And enjoy your meal while chatting and uh, checking out the checking place. Checking out the place, exactly. <laughs> so, if you're coming through Narita Airport, make sure you go and check out the city. And if you find any interesting spots, leave us a message on our page and we'll introduce it on this show. We aim to provide you with suggestions and ideas for your trip to Japan. In order to do that, we need your help. We'd love to hear your questions, your recommendations, your experiences, and any interesting facts. Uh, please message us on our Facebook page. And we'll have another reading for you next time, so don't miss it. Until then, see, see you. Bye-bye.